Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to add an access point to your Sophos XG Firewalls wireless protection so you can begin to take advantage of all the security benefits included within the Sophos XG Firewall. Utilizing your Sophos XG Firewalls wireless network protection solution for your business provides fast, reliable, and uninterrupted signal broadcast throughout the entire office. In our office environments, it is important that our wireless networks provide strong security options and are able to be easily deployed and centrally managed. So, you've got a third-party access point. Why should you use the Sophos XG Firewall for wireless security? It really comes down to three main advantages. It's easy, it's flexible, and more importantly, it's secure. Easy. All of your wireless access points are managed and configured in a single place flexible with a continuous signal throughout the entire office and with the support of multiple SSIDs for separate internal company use and guest networks we can provide granular and flexible access secure we can apply all of the security features and scanning offered on the Sophos XG firewall wireless networks controlled by our Sophos firewall can provide limited or full access to the internet as well as devices and resources on the internal network applying the same security as those devices that are connected to the physical network. What this does is allows us to create a secure internal wireless network as well as a totally isolated guest wireless network protecting the internal network from being accessed by devices connecting to the guest wireless network. This is demonstrated in a separate video. Let's go ahead and jump into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall and take a look. Here, in our web admin, we'll select protection from our menu, followed by wireless protection and access points. In our access point overview page, this gives us an overview of the access point known to our Sophos XG firewall. The Sophos XG OS distinguishes between active, inactive, and pending access points to make sure that only genuine APs connect to your network. Access points need to be authorized first. To authorize an access point, select the accept button. Enter a label which allows the access point to be easily identified to the network, followed by the country where the access point is being deployed. This might feel a little strange because typically your access point would be deployed right here behind the firewall, but you can deploy access point behind red devices which can also be located throughout the world. We'll demonstrate how to add a wireless access point behind a red device in a separate video. We can also assign our access point to a group as well as select which wireless networks the access point will broadcast. Here under our advanced setting we could select the channel for our wireless access point as well as enable dynamic channel as well as the transmit power as well as enable STP or a VLAN ID. Select save where we can see that our access point has been added to the active access point list. And that's it. Thanks for watching.